Hi there, my name is Raven. Welcome to my YouTube channel, These Twisted Times. So I wanted to take a minute tonight uh, to talk a little bit about why I made this YouTube video just as a way of introducing myself, explaining a couple of housekeeping issues, also remaking my very first video from last week, um, because it is the case that I made my first video on last week is what really pushed me to YouTube after years of wanting to make a channel and putting it off and procrastinating and thinking I need a better house, better equipment, a, essentially a better life in order to start a channel on YouTube, which doesn't get you anywhere. So here I am. Anyway, I, uh, I have, for as long as I remember, I've loved watching true crime shows and also fictional crime shows, watched all the CSIs, Criminal Minds, and pretty much any forensic investigation type show I could find over the years. Loved it all. Fascinating. Uh, interested in psychology, what makes people tick, what leads people to commit the crimes they've committed, how people... I'm just really interested in all of it. Absolutely loved the book Mindhunter. Um, really, really interests me. And for several years now, I've watched, I've been an avid watcher of quite a few true crime YouTube channels, uh, North American as well as British. And there's some amazing YouTube creators out there, which again, made me feel insecure about starting a channel and led me to put it off more until this year and in the spring I actually started the channel or I did everything for the channel and started to watch um, the studio videos on how to make YouTube just you know all the behind the scenes type stuff but then I procrastinated some more and some more and some more and then this fall I heard about a case that really pushed me to actually taking action. And that is the case of Echo Lloyd. Now, if you're anything like me and you're interested in true crime, you have probably heard of Suzanne Morphew, who has been missing since Mother's Day of this year and has had so much coverage, not only on YouTube, but also on the Dr. Phil show, Dr. Oz, all sorts of huge creator, Nancy Grace, Huge creators have been all over the Suzanne Morphew case. And so it has received a lot of attention. Then I heard, and, and I've seen so many great videos on the Suzanne Morphew case, and it's very troubling, and I hope it gets solved as quickly as possible. But then I heard about Echo Lloyd. And she also was last seen on Mother's Day of 2020. She, like me, is a woman in her late 40s. She, like me, was living on an acreage in a very rural area. I, as well, live actually on the same size acreage, but I am in Canada instead of in the U.S. She was living alone. She was establishing her first home. Her children are raised. She has four kids and several grandchildren at this point. And she went missing on Mother's Day. Now, in Echo's case, there has been next to no coverage. And I am, I just felt so strongly that I had to share her story. However, in the research I did in order to tell her story, I did see that her daughter Kelsey mentioned in several other YouTube videos that there were pieces of information that law, and law enforcement had told her that they wish she hadn't shared. So when I wanted to make a video, I reached out through their Facebook page to ask what I should share and what I shouldn't share, and I didn't hear back, which is totally understandable. I'm sure it's extremely overwhelming having a missing mother and the holiday season, new babies, everything, so much, and I can't imagine what that's like to go through 
these special occasions without uh, knowing what happened to your mother. And in Kelsey's case, she said her and her mother were best friends as well. So because there are things that she was told not to share, what I've chosen to do is not to share any details whatsoever. There, there are YouTube creators who have looked up who the neighbors are, what their names are, where sex offenders are in the area. And there are some great YouTubers who have actually gone to that area and walked the acreage and spoken to people and gotten to know people. And all of that is wonderful. If I was in the area, I would be there. I would so be there. But because it is such a rural area and her daughter, Kelsey, who is the family spokesperson, she also lives in the same area. And because I understand what living in a rural area can be like when you are an outsider, I really, really wanted to be cautious about what I shared in a YouTube video. So last week I made a video not sharing any details. Pardon me. Not sharing any details whatsoever, which again I'm doing now, um, not because I want to be vague, but because I want to protect Kelsey. And I want you to know if you ever come to watch this video, Kelsey, you are loved by so many of us. And we hope that you find an answer as soon as possible to what happened to your mother, because you're right, she would not have left under her own. Well, there's no way she would leave you and such new grandchildren, and she just wouldn't. She wouldn't under any circumstance, at least that's what I feel. So anyway, I'm here again to share a little bit of why I'm here and the case that really pushed me and why I asked people to write, I stand with hashtag Echo Lloyd in the comments. So here I am again, making a quick who am I video and sharing the Echo Lloyd case, please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, that all helps me quite a bit. If you're interested in true crime, I will be downloading at least a video a week. I know I've been slow with, with uh, adding an extra one that I'm currently working on. I, it's partially because I couldn't find a source to one of the stories I wanted to share and partly because I'm still chicken in front of the camera and I'm learning everything. There's a lot to learn. That's all I'm saying. And I also do want to apologize for the quality of my videos. At this time, I have an iPhone and a headset to use. And as I think I mentioned, I'm living in an RV that's very small. I have a very large German Shepherd who bumps into things, scratches himself and is almost always in the same room with me. I love him to bits, but it, anyway, you'll all meet him. He'll be a mascot of sorts, I guess. But um, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love to have you be part of the These Twisted Times community. I'm really hoping we can form a community, we can have some great discussions about cases solved and unsolved, and that we can be a support for each other because that's what that's all we can do in these twisted times is be a support for each other thanks very much and have a great night